Okay, he picks up the spare. Through nine, Jimmy Savas is at, oh, I'm sorry, through eight, Jimmy Savas is at 167. Joe Lucier is at 94. Savasta needs eight to win his first Axis title. And there it is. Congratulations to Jimmy Savasta. Winner of event number nine. First Axis event title for him. Mr. Lucier leaves a solid 10. Picks up the spare. Thank you, sir. Next time I'll try not to embarrass myself so much. Ah. Let's see you soon. Mr. Lucier comes back with a strike. I encourage everybody to go check out the new website, bowlaxs.com. We'll be making the switch over to that immediately for all of our registrations. It's a little more streamlined on that site. Send me messages, let me know what you think. I'll be updating information over the next couple of months. We've got a lot of stats and stuff I need to put in there. All right, Joe finishes with a turkey. Jimmy Savasta with three in a row. Extra heading, today's shot, Statue of Liberty, peg old sport pattern. Jimmy Savasta finishes it off, 237. Congratulations to Jim Savasta, newest Axis champ, beating Joe Lucier, 237, 154. Once again, thanks to our sponsors, Columbia, Track, Ebonite, Hammer, Logo Infusion, Strike Effects, Custom Profit, all the bowling centers that host our centers, or host our events, Langs, Old Mountain Lanes, Walnut Hill Bowl, Alley Cats, East Providence, We'll see everybody on April 22nd, live from Alley Cats Bowling Center. And I better see everybody at the state tournament at Old Mountain Lanes on April 7th, 8th, 14th, and 15th, as well as state tournament, which I won't be there for, at Alley Cats for the singles event on the 24th and 25th. So, everybody get out there and bowl. <laughs>